much space you're trying to work well, with. Well, um, probably all the way down to here, right? That'd be huge, man. Well, if we're not gonna go big, then we really can't wrap it. You know what I mean? Why not? It's not gonna wrap it this small. After the bad flash challenge that we had and the stuff that we've been going through as a team, her nitpicking and demanding this and demanding that is making it a lot tougher for us. It's smaller. It won't And rip. it won't look right. Why? For this elimination tattoo, we're testing your attention to detail. This week, you must tattoo one of my favorite images, a pinup. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Details in pinups are super important because the proportions are so small. It's a very delicate process. Pinup girls date back to World War II. Early pinup girls wore more clothing, but as the decades passed, the clothing became more seductive and provocative. The pinup can be in any style. You will have five hours to tattoo your pinup. Based on your work, one of you will be closing up shop. Good luck. If you're doing a head-to-toe pinup, it all involves intricate detail. Everything has to be just right, from the hair to the toes. If you mess it up in any way, you destroy the pinup. All right, so we're going on left rib cage. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. What kind of a ink master are you if you can't tattoo what they want, where they want it? Being on the side of the body there, I really want to get some kind of a more lateral motion to it. I'm doing it right on the rib cage, right what he asked for. My is going to be clean. I'm not uncomfortable doing it on your ribs. It'll be just fine. If we could round their butt off and maybe hike them up just a hair. You want to bring the garters up higher? Yeah. My canvas is being overly picky. I just want to make sure I didn't get some little pencil body on there. You know how small that girl is. Oh, no, I definitely uh, had to yeah, muscle her up a little bit. I think it's a trust issue, but he's got no choice. He's just going to have to trust me. I'll go run a copy, and then we'll stick it on you. He's going to have to just go along for the ride and let me drive the bus. That's what I'm here to do. I think a lot of the guys would have been scared to try this on the side. It's an intimidating spot for yeah. some people on lower ability levels. My strategy at this point in the game is to try to win. My pinup girl is going to be solid. All my lines are clean. I'm going to have by far the most detail. It's going to be epic. I can't miss. This week, we asked you to tattoo a pinup as gorgeous as the real thing based solely on your photos. We were testing your attention to detail. Jamie. So what did your client want? A uh, football player pin up on his ribs. This jersey and this outfit is awesome. I like the attention to detail in the face. You showed people in this room how to do a face. You did simple hair, but you did nice strands in it. I'm back in my groove, I think. You did it on the ribs. It's just as clean on the ribs as it would have been on the arm, and that shows us that you know what you're doing. This week's elimination tattoo is a true test of texture. Today, you must all tattoo the exact same subject. Seeing your tattoos side by side will make it obvious how your texture stacks up against the competition. Today, you must tattoo a phoenix. A phoenix is a fiery, mythological bird that goes up in flames and rises from the ashes to be reborn. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. Tomorrow, you'll have six hours to tattoo a phoenix. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Phoenixes show a ton of texture in feathers, beaks, claws, and flames. Black and gray. Yeah, yeah. Texture is what separates a lot of great tattooers from decent tattooers. So your pieces look very intricate. Mm-hmm. And I'm very simple. Nothing like that is going on my body. So you want a non-intricate phoenix to show texture. Phoenixes are complicated. It's a bird with plumage and feathers and texture and fire. As long as you understand, like I said, simple. We need to show texture or there's no reason me doing the piece. When you first meet someone and they tell you what they want to do, no, we're going to have to work together. I'm willing to compromise, but you don't just come out and say what I'm going to do. That's not even debatable. OK, that's fine. Calm down. Okay. I won't do anything you don't want me to do. OK. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do. Simple. Hi. Right. What are your thoughts? Did you see the drawing? Listen, wait a minute. Before we begin, we're good? Because yesterday we kind of ended not good. We, we good today? Well, I'm great today. Okay. Yeah. OK, because you were kind of yelling yesterday. So I just want to I wasn't sure. yelling. You yelled. I'm in a good mood. OK. Yeah, I've been good all morning. OK. Me and you have an issue. Don't pretend like nothing didn't happen. Don't pretend like ain't right. I'm a real person. This is how I would like to do it, with right. more line work. Like, I don't like this part. I like this. 
Now she's nitpicking my drawings. It's like, what the f We gotta be in between. I need to add a little something, so we gotta make some changes. I feel good about his design. I'm happy. If we can get the attitude in line with the design, we're gonna make the best tattoo. So you like this part here? I'll look at it again when you're done, but that's not what I initially said. She keeps riding me and riding me. My adrenaline's pumping. I'm getting nervous. I'm freaking out. You nervous? Your hand is shaking. Yeah, you affect my mood, but I am. I affect your mood. I am going to be good. But your hand is shaking. A little bit. It'll be fine. James is about to pick something up and ink my body, and he's telling me I affect his mood. James, you're making me nervous because your hand is shaking. And... My hand's fine. Your hand is shaking. Look at it. Yeah, it's shaking a little bit. Are you it's up to you if you want to sit. Are you not. nervous? No, I'm not nervous. Does your hand usually? Do you understand why that would make me nervous? Dealing with a little bit of confrontation, I'm never good with, and that's all that is. If someone looks nervous, your artist, and they're shaking, you would be a little concerned, wouldn't you? If you're going to ignore me, that's going to be a well, problem. Well, no, because I'm trying to calm down, and you're aggravating the situation. So I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get in my zen. I need you to calm me. I need you to calm get, me down. Well, I need to get in my zen so I can tattoo you. Well, I'm the one getting a tattoo that's permanent. I need to know that you're good. I'm the one who's nervous. Make me feel confident in you. That's what your job is. You realize you're putting a tattoo on a person, right? Mm hmm If you don't care, keep it real. Tell me. I did. I'll I told walk you it's... Out. I've never had a client do this to me before. Do I've what? never had a client never sit had a and pick at me. I've never had and shake in Because you're being sitting nervous. and you're picking at me this whole time. So you don't care, really, that makes me nervous. It's all about the tattoo. Say it now, we're done. You know what? You're right. I don't th I'm not the artist for you. I really don't think I am. That's it. I'm done. No one's ever going to do anything to me that I don't feel good about. And if I have to be the queen bitch, I will be the queen bitch, but you're not touching me. Oh, my god. This week, we're testing detail. Today, you must tattoo a warrior. Yeah. Strong, fearless, and ready for battle, a warrior is a fighter from any time period or culture. There's only one way to show exactly who your warrior is through the details. You'll have six hours to tattoo a fierce warrior, and based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. I want a kick-ass tattoo. I just need specifics. I want like a breastplate, like a chest plate. The helmet with like the nose and the eyes are showing. What do you think about a spear instead of a sword? You gotta just tell me which type you want. We got ourselves a bitch, ladies and gentlemen. Scott was trying to give me a difficult one to deal with. He succeeded. I want you to be able to like see his bicep and like his forearm and his fist. That might not be anatomically possible. We also want to finish this thing. That is true too, but I don't, I don't like that idea. I don't like that. And that limits us. He just wants to fight me at every single turn. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't want that much. Uh, whatever, dude, I don't care. This could definitely get me sent home. Yeah, that body position was weird. The arm was all wonky. I just don't get it. You told me, oh, you're not gonna change it on me? You changed the arm and you changed the shield. Yeah, but the problem is that it looks weird. Look, I'm telling you now, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look right doesn't or look you can't right. do it. You're not capable. My canvas is an ass. What happened was you told me this, and you no, said, no, I you're not going to ask me to change it, and then you changed it on me. I had to change it. I had to change it for what's going to work, and you signed up to get a free tattoo. No, I'm supposed to get something that I'm supposed to be happy with. You're going to get what's going to work for the competition. I, I, that's how it works. Don't cost me my opportunity because you're a dick. You're a dick, dude. I got to like this. But I got to do what's going to win. So I'm going to try to do what you're asking for I'm right sure now. You will. But if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to wind up tattooing myself. That's comforting. Uh, holy annoying. If you're going to tattoo yourself, then what's the whole point of this competition? I don't understand. Is this how you treat customers in your shop? This is something that I have to wear for the rest of my life, first and foremost. It's a contest secondary. His shield is dark. There's a lot of dark in one spot. I can't stand this jerk off. There has to be shadows. If there's no shadows, we got nothing. You don't think it's too much like black in one spot, though? If I thought it was too much, I wouldn't put it in there. He's complaining. He's questioning what I'm doing. It looks like there's so much black going on there in the arm. It's hard to concentrate when you keep asking me stuff like that. You know what I mean? I know what I'm doing, bro. I should have done what I would have done in the real world and thrown his ass the f out. And ta-da! It, it just, it looks a little, a little too dark. I, I like, I feel like. His arm and then the, the shield, it's just like, it's one shade. 
I would have liked, I liked to see his arm a little bit more. In one shape. Jay's inability to work with a canvas oh, really shows in his tattoo. If you want to be Ink Master, you need to be able to work with any canvas and still make a good tattoo. The judge come over, taking a look at it with a big smile on his face. He didn't do that because I was up. Pack your bags, dude. Your girlfriend's missing you. Go home. Today, we asked you to show detail by tattooing warriors. Jay. Man, really, what I just got to get into is this guy. I mean, we've seen some bad backgrounds. This is some bad background. That was the end of the tattoo where you just wouldn't stop moving. You would have been better off just doing your figure alone. The warrior's drawn and shaded nicely. I think the second you got to the background, you were like, it just looks like you're tattooing really pissed off. Today, we asked you to tattoo fearless warriors. Jay, you're here because Maddie put you up for elimination. Maddie, why Jay? For me, with the background that Jay had, it was fairly obvious. Most of the things I wanted to put in the background, I didn't get to put in there because the guy just did not want it. He was second guessing and questioning everything I did. Well, then would it surprise you to find out that you're also here because the human canvas jury voted you? Nope. Worst tattoo I already day. knew that was going to happen. It was a struggle. Change this, change that. In reality, that guy wouldn't have got tattooed at my shop. Your overall character looks a little stiff and rigid, and you would have been a lot better off not putting that sky in there, man. I would like to stay. I don't want to go home. I still got plenty left to show. The judges have decided. Neither of you will be packing your machines today. What? This week, we're testing proportion. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's gonna judge you is Taki, and he's gonna nail the out of you. Japanese tattoos are infamous for incorporating many different elements to create a dynamic image. In order for the elements to work together, they must be in perfect proportion. There is one more obstacle you must face today. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Ribs? You've got to be kidding me. The ribs is one of the most painful areas with snakes. It's going to be hard to make those long, sweeping lines. You will have six hours to tattoo a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. I want to start, like, under my boob and end, like, here. I would recommend, being that you've never had, like, a really big session, to do a tattoo probably about this big. My only concern is I want something sexy. I want the shape to be in harmony with my body. My canvas has only sat through little tiny bangers on real easy places. She will not sit through a big Japanese tattoo. It is not gonna happen. Do you know what you got yourself into? The ribs are tough. He definitely threw you at me because he thought that you would tap out. But you know, you do want to have something that has to do with my body. I have worked way too hard throughout this whole competition to go home because of this stubborn canvas. What if the head is biting my boob? If I don't get my canvas on board with me, I am screwed. We've already agreed that this is going to be the flow of the piece. Not mm -hmm. this way. I don't want it too confusing. My canvas is being so difficult. You gotta trust me. I'm just confused of how this snake is turning. Leave it up to me. I do not need this right now. It's not natural, it's weird. You're still not trusting me. It's awesome to watch Scott squirm. Just leave it, let me do this. The idea that he gets a taste of what he's been able to dish out, how can it not bring a smile to your face? You have to listen to me. I'm at the top in this competition. There's a reason for it. You have to trust me. Yeah, I know, but what this. you like is not what I like. No, but I know what you like. And if you don't let me do that, then you're going to be upset and you have a bad tattoo, and you're only going to be beating yourself in the ass for restricting me and twisting my arm and making it do it your way, you know? Sure. It's going to be a beautiful tattoo. I love it. My only concern is, you know, obviously, just sitting through it. If you get dizzy, 
or if you're feeling like cold sweats or you're feeling nauseous or something like that, then we'll, then we'll pump the brakes a little bit. I am really worried that my canvas is gonna tap out. But you know if I'm in pain, I'll take a break. You don't wanna take a break because when you come back, it'll hurt 10 times more. <laughs> I'm gonna take one break, a couple of breaks. You don't wanna take a couple of breaks. Once you break once or twice, you're tapping out. I'm stressing the f out right now. You got your job to do and I got my job to do. Now it's just up to me to execute that and it's up to you to sit through it. Definitely gonna need a cigarette. Oh. No. So you take a break, it slows down and you come back and you can't take the pain then, trust me. My canvas is having a really hard time and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. Mm. I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't want to let you go and then I gotta drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for hundred grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. Can't move in the middle of the line sorry, like that, sorry, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, deal. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Scott. Very, very surprised to see this tattoo come out of you. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the is going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, he totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it, but when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's gonna come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting, it's utterly incorrect. She was a tough canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's gonna show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm gonna stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. Today, we asked you to tattoo a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Scott, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I did what I could, man. I had to compromise a lot of design with her, basically just how she sat and everything. You have a very unique style that's your own that you incorporate into everything. This tattoo, you abandon that. You just kind of got lost in your own design. It has its problems. This would be like my first hiccup since I've been here. I'd like you guys to take that into consideration before you make your decision. Aesthetically, it's definitely the bottom. Welcome back, Clean. As a veteran, you fought through this competition once. You now have the power to choose the next elimination tattoo. This week, you're calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? We're gonna do hot rods and choppers, neo-traditional style. Not my strong point. Probably half the guys here don't know about hot rods and choppers. I'm a gearhead. I'm gonna kill this tattoo, and there ain't nobody gonna get in my way. You will have six hours to tattoo a neo-traditional hot rod or chopper. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Great to meet you. How similar does that look to you? No, I took my turn signals off, so I don't want them on there. Okay, that's um, these little blinker things here? Yes. You better know what turn signal. I thought I picked the cool chick, but this woman's extremely picky. That's a super glide. That's not mine. That's a custom. Looks like a different frame. She's talking about the different parts of the motorcycle. I don't know what she's talking about. And I had an idea if you do the front end coming out of a flower. I know I'm going home if I don't figure out how to do this. I found something that is a close match to her bike, so I was able to do a neo-traditional rendering of it. You kicked their asses, girl. I am. I want to go back home and say, you know what, this chick rocked it. My canvas loves it. It's boosting up my ego a little bit. I think I'm going to do awesome. Definitely feeling color? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. What is that? What, what is that little one? Right, right there. Let me grab the picture. I don't understand what this is. That's the like the other side of the bike, like if you're seeing through it. Now you have an extra line there. This is screwed up. Okay. I don't know what this is. And you got these up with this. Okay. This is your frame. Yep. You have to get that pipe into there. Okay. How the f did she go from liking the drawing to now having a complete issue? This needs to go under, hun. Is what you're saying? Yeah, you already drew the outline. No, no, no. You can't. I'm, at, I'm just asking. Do you want me to straighten that out? There's no way. I can. 
I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her to stop complaining and nitpicking. Make it good. Make it good. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm Happy tattooing? You can tell that Ashley's canvas is pissed, and I love it. <laughs> Today, Clean challenged you to tattoo symbols of speed, hot rods and choppers, in neo-traditional style. Ashley. The mechanics of this motorcycle do not line up. When it's a tattoo that's gonna be on this lady's arm forever, she's gonna be hanging out with motorcycle people, they're gonna make fun of her. Everybody's gonna look at this tattoo and they're gonna make jokes about how her forks disappear into the headlight. Well, the motorcycle expert, which she was, she could have done her job as a canvas. She was the expert. I was the artist doing my job. I don't think I should be penalized for something I don't understand. Well, unfortunately, you get a bad reference, you get a bad canvas, you get a bad tattoo, you get a bad critique, you might go home. In Bubba's honor, you'll all be judged on the fundamentals. There's no better way to show your fundamentals than by tattooing a style that leaves you no room for errors. Illustrative black work. Ooh. Yeah, bring it on. Using only lines of different lengths and widths, you must create texture, depth, and contrast in your image. Since there's no color or shading, the smallest flaw in your fundamentals will be obvious. And for this tattoo, you will once again be tag teaming. Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Only one of you can tattoo at a time, and you must switch artists every hour. Today, I think these artists are gonna be faced with a design challenge. The challenge is more of like an etching style. Overall, your line work has to be really clean and perfect. One bad line sticks out like a sore thumb. The tiger like, pot bites toe. Yeah, like a string suspending him by like one, like a back toe. I have no idea how to do this tattoo. How much space are you trying to work well, with? Well, um, probably all the way down to here, right? That'd be huge, man. Well, if we're not gonna go big, then we really can't wrap it. You know what I mean? Why not? It's not gonna wrap it this small. After the bad flash challenge that we had and the stuff that we've been going through as a team, her nitpicking and demanding this and demanding that is making it a lot tougher for us. It's smaller. It won't wrap. And it won't look right. Why? You want to figure out how the hell we're going to do this area? The ear? She wants a full body tiger caught by the toe with the back foot stretched out, crawling down her leg. And that's what we're giving her. Tip until it's black, I just didn't know exactly how we want to achieve that. I think our friendship has a lot to do with how well we can perform. I want to break the lines where like the black is going to go, you know? He can read me and I can read him. You know, when he's upset, I can tell. Mike is my best friend. Thanks, dude. We've been through a lot of <laughs> family. Yeah, we have. <laughs> yeah, Mikey. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals. The Mark Society. This tiger is crazy. If you take the head out of the equation, this thing looks like a lizard with some broken body parts. Where is the tiger's right shoulder? How does that come off his spine right there? Anatomy has proven to be a big issue. You've got some clean lines, but you didn't really capture the look of this challenge. You just cross-hatch haphazardly. There's one tooth missing. Oh, you cross-hatch over it. Devil's in the details. That stuff all exposes you guys heavily. 